Hi guys, uh, my name is Anne Marie and this is AMS Wears Makeup and today we're going to talk about nine products that I didn't need to buy and you probably don't need to either. So grab a glass of wine and let's talk about the hundreds of dollars I'm going to save you because you don't need to buy any of this crap. Sephora and Ulta and the drugstore, Target, TJ Maxx, there's so many different places that we can buy makeup and a lot of the time those purchases are impulses, especially when something has pretty packaging or maybe it comes to you even in a subscription box and once it's on your vanity, you wanna make good use of it. But I also wanna make sure that you don't waste your money in the first place, so let's talk about nine products that I absolutely did not need to buy and you probably don't need to buy either. Let's talk about primer. Um, there are lots of things that, depending on your skin type, are going to matter more to you than others. For example, I have very dry skin. It's really important to me that I stay hydrated, especially in winter. My skin gets really tight, like desert, like tight, and I'm looking for products that will minimize my pores, keep me hydrated throughout, keep me from looking too oily, which can even be a something that happens in the winter to me when my skin is so dry I produce oil to hydrate. I don't want to do that. I want my base to stay hydrated. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. It's coconut lotion. And it smells like coconut piss. The thing that bothers me about this so much is that it is extremely expensive. It expires really fast because of the coconut water and it's going to almost give you a rotting smell. But most importantly, all it does is hydrate your face. It doesn't do anything to keep your makeup on. So if you have a foundation that's going to slip on top of it, there's nothing grabbing a hold of it to keep it in place. Especially if you already have dry skin that you're not exfoliating enough in the winter, that foundation is going to slide right down. And for $34, I think you could find something way better for a third of the price, if not even less. NYX, e.l.f., they all have really good hydrating bases that will add that also primer effect of grabbing your foundation. You just, you don't need to buy this. Speaking of Too Faced and the Hangover RX primer line, there's more than one useless product that nobody needs to buy. It has a long name, so bear with me. The Too Faced Prime Set Refresh Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Again, with coconut water. It smells like coconut, again, also rotting, and now it's all over my face. Instead of sealing in your makeup as a setting spray, as it claims to do, it's going to ball up on the cheeks. And if you put it on underneath your makeup, it's not going to provide enough hydration or grip to keep that makeup in place. And you're going to have these little beads of foundation broken up all over your face if you use this. This also expires really fast. And the nozzle breaks. My sister bought this, I think at least, maybe not twice, at least once. The nozzle broke. I bought this. The nozzle broke too. I had to take it back. So this is my third attempt at having a spray that actually works. And this is $32 and it's coconut water in a bottle. It's a waste of money. Like people who like me are junkies, who will buy anything if it performs, will buy anything, even if it is $70, because it promises to deliver. And this is one of those products. This is the Sunday Riley Color Correcting Luminous HD Foundation. It's called Liquid Light. They don't actually make this anymore. But I bought this like a sucker, not understanding that this was not made anymore, so even if I liked it, I couldn't get it. So one, a bad waste of, it's a huge waste of $70. I shouldn't invest in something if I'm not going to be able to continuously love it. Two, I forgot about it, and now it's breaking up in oil all in here, and I can't even use it. Um, three, I wore it to work on Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. And I came into the office, and my coworker said to me, Oh my gosh, you're going foundation free today. Your skin looks so beautiful. I was wearing this. I was wearing a cell phone bill worth of makeup on my face and she couldn't even tell. That's how shitty it is. So don't waste your money on crap you don't know works. Don't let anybody sucker you. You can't even buy this now. This is just a cautionary tale because I'm mortified. And it's, it's on my vanity and reminds me of how much money I wasted. So I don't know if you use an eye cream. I'm 26. I really technically don't need to use an eye cream. If you're young enough, you can bring your moisturizer up all the way underneath your eye if it's hydrating enough, especially if you have dry skin. But I frequently buy sucker products anyway. 
And this is something that my sister fell for and gave to me. And I'm very glad that I did not also fall for. Sorry, Katie. This is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy to instantly brighten, depuff, and smooth. This is almost empty because she used it. Actually, I might not even be able to get anything out of it anymore. No, this is actually empty. It's an orange liquid that you wear underneath your eyes. Um, it is not an eye cream and it's not a color corrector because it's not actually sturdy enough to hide bags. So you are paying a lot of money to put on eye foundation that doesn't do anything. 36 bucks. It's useless. I don't know why she bought it. <sighs> Let's talk about eyeshadow palettes, namely ones that you receive in subscription boxes. This is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a subscription box that sends you about 100 bucks worth of stuff for $21 every month. It suckered me in, but what ends up happening is that it's not makeup you chose for yourself. So how can I say this the right way? If someone gives you a bunch of stuff and you love it, that's great, but you're never going to revere it the same way than if you went out and spent your own money on something because that feels earned. That feels like a treat. If I buy an eyeshadow palette for $30 and I really wanted it and I spent that money, I'm going to treasure it. But if this shows up that someone else picked out for me, even if it's good, it doesn't matter because I wasn't initially excited about it. So I'm probably not going to reach for it as much as I would reach for something that I bought myself. Some of the swatches are beautiful, but I tried to do my makeup last night, two nights ago, and it was like falling away. And I primed the way I always did. I put on falsies and it just looked bizarre. This blue is like falling off in chunks. I will say this is gorgeous. The shade right here and this one is really beautiful, but not enough for me to keep it around. And I would have never paid $25 for this. I just don't think it's that good. So Spending money on products that are dropping quickly and fast and there's a sense of urgency is something that I fall victim to a lot. Um, any new collab that I think is cool, I don't want it to sell out, so I'm going to buy it right away because I don't want to miss out on the hype. And sometimes you do that and you don't know what you got till it's gone in the case of your $15 because the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, I think a lot of us got suckered into this. I don't really care that it's only $15. It takes me about 45 minutes to do my makeup whenever I do this. Why does it take 45 minutes is a question some of you who aren't familiar with the collab might be asking. It's because these mattes look so pretty in the pan, but they actually take forever when you're not using a finger to build them up. So it looks so gorgeous, but when you put them on a brush, it doesn't do that. And a lot of people aren't good at blending mattes with their fingers, understandably, it takes a ton of time of getting in there with a brush and just going back and forth forever. And I don't have that kind of time. I'm busy. I want to like see my friends and leave the house, not just put on makeup and have it be my bedtime by the time I'm finished. It doesn't matter how cheap it was. It was a waste of money. It's not good. I don't care if it says V2 on the back. And I'm sad because the color story is gorgeous. I love blue. I love green. I love wearing a lot of dark eyeshadow in my crease with like blown out glitter. And this just doesn't do it for me. All right, this is admittedly a mini of the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. The reason it's a mini is because I didn't technically buy it, and they sent me the sample, so now I don't have to. This is not a matte liquid lipstick, but it's supposed to give you, like, staying power of color. It feels really nice when you put it on. I wish I wasn't wearing lipstick or I would put it on for you right now. But the second you lick your lips, it's gone. It does not stay. It comes off extremely patchy and... For $26, I don't want a matte lip gloss. For I would I would just buy a ColourPop lip gloss or a ColourPop satin lip and call it a day. This is in the color Bound, and people were really excited about it. I think it's kind of lame, and I didn't need it, and I'm glad I didn't buy it. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is very personal, admittedly, which sounds sappy, but it's so true. Perfumes are something that is so dependent on your taste, so if you own this and you like it, please don't get mad at me. It has a lot to do with body chemistry and how our like pheromones react to different things. Is pheromones a thing? It has a lot to do with body chemistry and how our hormones, our sweat, like our stress like reacts to different things. So like it's not anybody's fault. If you like something that I like, don't like, it's okay. But this is the Nest fragrance in Citrine. So Nest makes a ton of very floral, earthy, plant-based perfumes. 
Some of them are really great, some of them are not. When I spray it on my body, it smelled like soap, but I had another bottle of this two years ago and I absolutely loved it. I mean, sometimes we just change and how our body reacts to things change, our taste change, but mostly I'm bummed that I got through an entire bottle and I could have just been done and instead I spent another $74 on another one and that was two years ago and there's still this much left in it. I'm sorry, bud. Well, if you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. People spend so much money at Sephora, Ulta, all these brands. We throw our money at them and frankly stuff doesn't work out and we might not take it back or we might forget that we bought it and lose it and then you stumble upon a expired bottle of foundation that's, you know, the cost of groceries for the week. So don't do what I do. Learn from my mistakes. Save your money. And I'll be back very shortly to talk more about products that I hated. These holiday launches from Sephora, they are inundating us to buy stuff. I bought a lot of it. And I already regret it. So. So smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell because that's how you'll hear from someone like me apparently. And find me on Instagram because I've already been creating a ton of content there post photos of my makeup almost every day. I ask a lot of questions, so I'll be right there. And I'll be back next week with another video about hopefully products I love. We can't be so negative all the time. I gotta buy some stuff I like, right? Cheers. <laughs>